Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have quite a powerful flow for you, meaning that we're going to be moving with a fair bit of pace, not holding poses for too long, and building strength in lots of different places. Expect to feel challenged, but expect to have fun doing it. Let's go. So we're going to start down on our backs today. So if you allow yourself to unravel, just let your feet come to the floor. Let one hand rest onto your belly, one hand rest onto your chest, and just close your eyes for a moment as you start to feel your breath in and out through the nose and just feeling the hands rise and fall as you start to feel the lungs fill and then empty. And just take a couple more breaths like this, allowing yourself to feel settled, to feel focused on your body, your breath, everything that's going on on your mat right now. And then let your hands and breath continue as they are, but the soles of the feet can face each other and the knees to fall wide so the legs are making a nice big diamond shape. Just allow gravity to take hold of those legs. See if you can find a little more release into your hips, thighs falling away from your midline. Take just one more full breath in, feel the belly rise. And one more full breath out. And then as you open your eyes, let your arms take a cactus shape. So the elbows alongside the shoulders, the palms to the sky. Don't worry if the backs, the hands don't find the mat. Take a deep breath in, feel the whole front of the body feel nice and open. And a full releasing breath out. And then from this big open shape, I want you to roll yourself onto your right hand side. So your knees come together, your elbows come together, and maybe just tuck your knees a little closer in towards your belly. Leave the legs where they are. And as you inhale, let those arms open back into a cactus. Left shoulder is thinking of moving towards the mat. And as you exhale, close it back off onto your right hand side. Two more like that. Inhale, open, just the upper body, legs stay glued. Exhale, closing it off. And then last one. Inhale, open the big cactus arms. And exhale, closing it off. Good, let the body open back to the diamond shaped legs, the cactus arms. Let your body just be still for a moment, feel the heaviness of the limbs. And then exhale, send everything off to the left, maybe tuck the knees a little higher. Good, three more on this side. Inhale, open that right arm, think of elbow and shoulder to the mat. Exhale as they close off. Breathing in, last two. Breathing out. And then last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then roll yourself all the way back onto your back. Give your knees a little hug in towards your chest. Maybe take a few small movements on your lower back. Feel it press down into the floor. Now from here, I want you to take flat palms. You're not gonna hold your legs. Place your flat palms onto your thighs. Now push your thighs away until your arms are straight. Lift your feet so that your shins are about parallel with the mat. And then think about pushing the thighs back in towards the hands. Think about your lower back, push it down into the floor and hopefully you just become very aware of your core muscles. Keep that nice opposing force between hands and thighs, pushing that little bit firmer. Keep that lower back rooting down towards the floor. Strong through the legs, hold what you have for three, for two, and then for one. Draw the knees in towards happy baby. Come to hold either the ankles, heels, toes, anything that's within reach for you. And as you pull down on the knees, as if you're trying to get the knees towards your mat, also press your heels towards the sky. So it's like your feet and hands are having a little argument in which direction they want your limbs to move. Keep your lower back rooting down against the floor and maybe just again, take a few little rocks left to right. Keep that strong opposing force between hands and arms. Big breath in and a big breath out. Now I want you to see if you can maintain your happy baby shape as you do this. We're going to take a little a few rock and rolls. We're going to see if we can catch this shape seated. So it'll be a seated happy baby. So maybe take a couple to start to build some momentum. Can you then roll your way up onto your bum, press the heels forwards, pull back into them with the hands and find yourself upright. So the knees are still wide, the arms are on the inside, the legs, draw that chest nice and tall, hold the belly firm. From there, nothing 
nothing is gonna change in terms of the legs. Keep the legs there. Can you let go of the heels and bring your palms together in front of you? Good, lovely. Pull these knees in towards your armpits as much as you can. Lift through your chest, breathing in and breathing out. We just accelerated quite fast there, didn't we? Option to stay here for two more breaths. If you're really going for it today, you can try straightening out those legs. Reach out through heels, reach out through toes. Crikey, that's hard. Take a deep breath in wherever you are and a full breath out. Good, pull the heels in towards your bum, roll your way over your shins, just shuffle back if you ran out of room. Draw yourself into a tabletop position, but just elongate it slightly, so step the knees slightly backwards, a little bit further distance between hands and knees. And then as you round your spine and lean forwards, chin towards the chest, weight is into the hands, and then sit bones to the sky, lift your chest as you move a little bit backwards. Good, again, rounding spine, broad shoulder blades, chin towards chest. Sit bones pushing backwards, lift the chest, arc the spine. Good, one more. Round spine, lean forwards, broad shoulder blades. And then all the way back, sit bones towards the sky as you push back. As you draw yourself back towards tabletop, tuck the toes under, lift the hips to the sky, find a downward facing dog, maybe take a little pedal out of those legs to help feel a little bit more length in the back of the thighs. Push the floor away from you, let the arms feel as long as they can as the shoulder blades broaden across your back. Hold steady here, breathe in and breathe out. Good, one more inhale and one more exhale. Good, use an inhale to look forward to the top of the mat. Then bending those knees, hop your hips as high as you can, land as silently as you can by your wrists. Fingertips to your shins, inhale, halfway lift, pause and hold here. Thighs are pressing backwards, feel like you're squeezing hold of your quad muscles. Get your torso to be parallel to the mat, so you may have to come a little higher if you're quite flexible. And then release your hands and take them alongside your body, aeroplane your wings. The palms are facing down, the shoulder blades are squeezing together. Take a deep breath in, hold this aeroplane position. And as you exhale, fold, take the hands to the mat, let the head hang heavy, drive the hips to the sky, but keep the belly and thighs close so the knees can stay bent. On the inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Take the arms up alongside the ears, reach out through your ring fingers. And as you exhale, release your arms by your side, standing tall at the top of the mat, feet are about hip distance apart. Inhale, send the arms back to the sky and gaze up. On the exhale, forward fold, let the hands touch the floor, dangle the head. Use the inhale to find the aeroplane halfway lift, parallel body to the mat, palms face down. As you exhale, hands go down, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Don't step it too far and drop your back knee down. As you inhale, lift through your torso, reach through your arms, engage your right glutes. Make sure your back foot is not tucked under and as you exhale, put your right bum down towards your right heel as you reach your arms forwards. Inhale, rise up to the low lunge, arms overhead, lift the chest. Exhale, push the bum back, flex the left toes, reach down through that left heel. One more like that. Inhale, lifting up, drive forwards. Exhale, shifting back, push the left heel down. Good. As you come to the top of the mat, place the hands down, the foot steps back into plank. Take a deep breath in as you hold plank pose. We're going to slow and control, come all the way to the floor. Imagine you're an aeroplane coming in to land with your chest. You're aiming just in front of your fingertips. Pull the upper arm bones in, softly release down. Keep your hands where they are. They should be alongside your chest. Press down through the tops of your feet. As you inhale, lift your chest, drag your hands back towards you. Let the neck stay long. As you exhale, release your body down. Imagine you're doing the same, but this time lift your hands up so you won't go as far. Breathe in, baby cobra, press down through hips and exhale, release down. Good, this time again, using hands, inhale, pull the chest up, pull the hands back rather than push and exhale, release your chest to the mat. Use an inhale, bum back towards heels into child's pose and as you exhale, hips go into the sky and into down dog. Take one breath in, take one breath out. With the right leg, inhale, send it to the sky, three leg dog. 
On the exhale, step it forwards between the hands, top of the mat. Feet are on train tracks. As you inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms, high lunge. Take a very generous bend in the back knee as if you're hovering the back knee just off of the floor. Full breath in, hold here. On the exhale, twisting the elbow around your front thigh, you're welcome to lengthen out your back leg for a little bit of relief there. Push the elbow into the leg, push the leg into the elbow, turn your chest to the right side, maybe even gaze up if you wanna make it harder. Take one more breath in. On the breath out, back foot steps in, feet to hip distance apart, stay just as low as you were in the lunge, let your arms reach forwards into an active squat. Bum is pushing out backwards, stay just as low into your squat as you can, lift your heels so you're right up onto your tippy toes. Feel the wibble, feel the wobble, option to stay here, not necessarily an easy option. If you'd like to take your hands to the floor for crow, I've run out of room, you can take your hands down, the inner knee squeezes in towards the back of the triceps, the chest comes forwards, can you pull your heels towards your bum, maybe find some balance? Just one breath in. And now tippy toes are going back down onto the mat. Come back to that hovering heel active squat. And then exhale, heels down, hips up, forward fold, release your head. Take one breath in and one breath out. Good, use the inhale to rise all the way up to stand. Hollow feeling through the belly, reach through the arms. And as you exhale, release your arms by your sides, maybe step forwards if you moved back for that crow. Inhale, arms go back to the sky, second side. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor, compress the belly and thighs. Inhale, aeroplane wings, halfway lift, squeeze shoulder blades, palms face down. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot steps back, don't send it too far or you'll struggle with your single leg squats. Inhale, lift through the chest, reach through the arms, don't tuck the back toes under. And as you exhale, bum towards back heel, flex your right toes, get as low, but try not to just sit down, you're hovering. Inhale, lifting up, chest rises, gaze to the sky. Exhale, bum towards left heel, stay strong, press through left shin. Good, one more of each. Inhale to come up, strong left bum. Exhale, shift it back, press down through the back of the right heel. Use your inhale to come back to the top of the mat, hands go down, footsteps into your plank pose. Take one breath in, keep your bum and your belly firm. And as you exhale, option to drop the knees so you can come with a little more control as you come all the way down to the mat. Good, cobra pose, inhale, lift the chest, pull the hands back towards you. Exhale, release the body down to the floor. Good, imagine you're doing the same. Inhale, this time float the hands, squeeze those elbows behind the back. And exhale, release down. Good, one last cobra. Inhale, peel the chest up, neck is long, shoulders away from ears. And exhale, release the body down. Good, inhale, back into child's pose, bum towards heels. Exhale, hips into the sky and into down dog. Take a full breath in. Take a soft breath out. Left leg, inhale, send it to the sky, three leg dog. On the exhale, draw it forwards, place it between the hands, top of the mat. With the inhale, rise up to your high lunge, send the arms alongside the ears, and then generous bend of that back knee as if you're finding nice right angles with both of your legs. Breathing in. And breathing out, good. Right arm in the sky is gonna hook around your front thigh, perhaps choosing to press your back heel away from you to lengthen out through the back leg. Press the thigh into the elbow, press the elbow into the thigh. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Good, undo the twist, inhale, back foot steps in, feet to hip distance apart, reach the arms forwards, weight is into the heels. And now let those heels lift up as you come onto the balls, the feet stay low and your quads have to work hard. One more opportunity to take your hands to the floor for crow if you wish. Draw the thighs in, you squeeze the thighs together for crow pose or towards each other, they're not actually touching, obviously. Chest is in front of fingertips. One breath in. And then toes back to the mat or just balls of the feet. Can you come back to that tippy toe active squat? And then exhale, heels down, hips high, hands down and fold. Stay here for a breath in. Stay here for the breath out.
good. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand, lift out through those arms and exhale, release your arms alongside your body. Good, step yourself forwards if again you stepped back and you may choose want to use a block for this next transition. We're going to stand onto our left leg and approach dancer's pose. Your right hand, if you can, hold the big toe side of your foot so the eye of your elbow points outwards, your right shoulder is open. As you start to kick that foot up and back, let your chest stay lifted for a moment. You can reach your arm forwards, I don't have enough space. Keep your right pelvis facing down. Take one more breath in. Now slowly start to fold. Keep hold of that foot. We're coming towards sugar cane. Left hand is going to reach its way down towards a block or the floor as you keep pressing that foot up towards the sky. Big stretch in left hamstring, strong right glutes. Full inhale. Now, if you can, keep hold of the foot, keep the left heel on the mat. As you sweep the leg underneath, can you then kick the foot out in front of you and find your way down towards a pistol squat? If you can, perhaps keeping hold of the foot. If you can't, you could always choose use your fingertips here to hold your balance nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. And then fingertips to the floor, either side of your foot. Again, can you leave the left heel down as you thread that right leg to the back of the mat into a runner's lunge? Let your body feel nice and long as you pull forwards, inhale. On the exhale, walk your way round to the right hand side of the mat into a wide leg position. Feet or toes all point in the same direction. Inhale, create length in the body. And on the exhale, folding a little further, either walking hands back or if you want to hold on to your ankles, you're welcome to. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Place your right hand down underneath your nose and as you inhale, lift the left arm to the sky into a twist. Push the right hand into the floor to help you find rotation, gazing up towards your top fingertips. Take one breath in and one breath out. Good, now this is a complicated transition, guys, so go with it. Maybe it'll feel smoother the second time you try. Keep your right hand where it is, or move it a little bit towards the left hand side for a little bit of give. Your right leg is gonna thread and kick towards the top of the mat. It's gonna go behind your calf. The left hand is coming in front of the shin. You're coming to baby grasshopper. As you kick that foot to the top of the mat, bend your right arm like chaturanga, chest is facing the floor, and you press away through your left heel. Not an easy pose. Don't worry if you've fallen on your bum because we're all coming there in a moment. Breath in and then simply plop your bum down behind you. And if you're not quite there, you've got your right leg out in front of you and your left leg is crossed over the top sole of the foot to the floor. Take the right arm to the sky as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, elbow hooks around the thigh as you twist and look over the left shoulder. Think of getting a little taller on the breath in. Maybe finding more rotation on the breath out. Great, we'll take one more breath in. And then undo your twist on the breath out. Hug your heels in towards your bum. Roll your way over your shins, hands to the floor. Now from here, you've got the option to jump back towards a chaturanga. Try to not jump to plank, jump towards bent arms. So your feet fire to the back of the mat. You've got your halfway lower. Your inhale to lift your chest. You could go to the floor and choose to take cobra here. And then exhale, hips into the sky and into downward facing dog. Take one breath in. Take one breath out. Good, inhale, look forward to the top of the mat. Imagine your hips are going way beyond your fingertips as you fire them to the sky to land lightly at the top of the mat. Inhale, fingertips to the shins, long flat spine. And as you exhale, fold, take the hands to the floor. On the inhale, rise up to stand, lift out through the fingertips. And as you exhale, release your arms by your sides. Good, second side, almost there. Have your block for your sugar cane if you would like it. Stand onto the right leg. The left hand, if it can, is gonna hold the inside arch of your left foot. Start to kick that left foot up and back. Your right hand can reach forwards. Think of squaring the pelvis, which usually means the left hip needs to drop a little. Take one more breath in. Feel a nice big left chest stretch. And as you exhale, start to fold your body, take your time, let your ankle wibble and wobble and adjust your balance. And that right hand to come down in front of the foot, maybe ever so slightly wider than your little toe. 
From there, think of a strong kick of that left leg to the sky, big right hamstring stretch. Inhale, hold here. Now try to let the foot sort of barrel roll within your hand. You're gonna scoop that leg to the top of the mat. Can you keep your right heel down as you sink yourself low towards a pistol squat? Option to use that right hand as a little bit of help if perhaps our hips and ankles aren't quite here. Take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale. Good, you've got to let go of the foot. Can you bring your hands either side of your foot? Keep your right heel down if possible. Uh, thread the left leg through and back into a runner's lunge. Take one breath in, crown of the head forwards, back heel presses back. And as you exhale, walk yourself around to the other side, back into, towards your left side, excuse me, into a wide legged position. Take one breath in to create that space, that length, prepare. And the exhale is your opportunity to fold, hands either to the mat or to the feet. Or the legs, doesn't have to be the feet. Neck is feeling nice and long. Sit bones are lifting up and also widening away from each other. Imagine your thighs are ever so slightly rolling inwards. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Good. Left hand onto the floor underneath your nose. Use a breath in to reach the right arm to the sky. Twist and gaze up towards it. Push the left hand down to give yourself a little bit of extra strength to rotate. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. So we're going to transition towards our baby grasshopper. I've turned around. So you're going towards the top of your mat. You're going to pick up your left foot, send it behind your right calf. The right hand goes in front of the shin. Can you catch the little toe edge of the foot? And then kick that foot away as you sink your bum back, little chaturanga left arm. Maybe gaze towards those left toes. Take a deep breath in or just give it another little go. And then our bum is plopping to the floor. And again, for clarity, the left leg is pointing forwards and the right leg is crossed over the top, sole of the foot and right sit bone to the mat. Left arm, inhale, reach it to the sky. And as you exhale, twist, looking over your right shoulder. Create length in the body as you breathe in. Create rotation as you breathe out. Good, lovely. And then undo your twist, come back to center. Bring your feet onto the mat in front of you. Sit bones to stay to the floor. Think of a rounded back. Engage through your anterior core as you slowly allow yourself to unravel. Bringing your body all the way down to the floor. Bring your heels a little bit closer towards your bum, your feet to be roughly hip distance apart as we prepare for bridge. Press down into the soles of the feet to lift the pelvis off the mat. Let your hands come to interlace into a fist underneath you. Maybe shuffle your shoulder blades a little closer together. Drive down into the whole sole of the foot, particularly the big toe side, the inner arch that tends to not want to push down. Lengthening the front body. Great, one more inhale and one more exhale. Releasing your hands, let your body slowly release its way back down to the floor. Your knees can then hug in towards your chest. Maybe take a little movement left to right. And if there's any pose that comes to your mind right now that you would like to take to finish off your practice, you're welcome to take a few breaths of doing that, whether it be a wheel pose, whether it's an inversion, whether it's a plow pose, or maybe it's just to stay here with a nice small little tucked shape. Just allow yourself that freedom to explore wherever it is that your body's taking you. Try not to be judgmental of what came to mind there. And once you're finished with whatever pose it was that you've given a little try, of course, with it being YouTube, you're welcome to pause the video and continue with whatever it is that you found a love for. You can then choose to send those heels towards the corners of your mat. Let your hands release alongside you, palms to the sky. Closing the eyes and just take a deep breath in here, one final full expanse. Pause that breath at the top. And then as you exhale, release the breath and release the body with it. Feel yourself get that little bit heavier against your mat.
And just allow your focus to remain on your body, to remain on your breath, nowhere else it needs to move to yet. And if that's perhaps the most challenging part of the practice for you, I welcome you to try taking a little bit of a bird's eye view of yourself, lying here on your mat, eyes are closed. Just observing yourself and noticing that chest rise and fall. And noticing the softness in your face. Noticing the softness in your limbs. And then before you allow yourself to move, to change, just take a moment to feel your body here and feel how good it feels. And then let yourself take that nice, strong, awakening breath. Finding some movement, drawing the knees in towards your chest. From there, whichever way is most comfortable for you, find your way up to seated. And use a final breath in to lift the arms all the way back to the sky. And your final breath out to lower your hands towards your belly and chin towards your chest. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed your practice. If you like this challenging style of class, you'll love all of my on-demand bundles. I'll leave a little link to them just here. Don't forget to leave a little thumbs up if you enjoyed the class as it really helps support my channel, as well as letting me know what you thought in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your day.